Motorists may be using the John Compton Highway lanes a bit differently for the next few weeks, effective Tuesday, September 15, 2020. It's all part of efforts by traffic cops to minimize congestion. The Traffic Department of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force has noted a rise in the number of vehicles on these routes in the wake of the reopening of schools. Acting Corporal Ann Joseph elaborated on the changes in the use of the lanes along the John Compton Highway during a specified time of the day. Lance Road being utilized as a one-way street, causing vehicles to travel in a southern direction from John Com Compton Highway. We also had the John Compton Highway being temporarily converted into two lanes for vehicles traveling towards Castries. Vehicles traveling towards Grosley were only allowed to utilize the left lane. Vehicles traveling from the north into Lance Road were only allowed to use the left lane as well. Vehicles traveling from the north going straight into Castries were allowed to use the center lane. Signage was erected at various points to help drivers adapt. These measures will be implemented on weekdays. We had officers stationed along various points in the route to assist with better management of the, the restrictions as it related to where persons were allowed to go or not allowed to access um, by virtue of the changes that I just described. These measures are going to continue from Monday to Friday for a period of time, well, as long as we deem it necessary to better regulate the flow of traffic into the city as well as grizzly. We noticed today that it was successful. We have video footage that will provide you from that um, exercise, and it was successful, so we're going to try it again tomorrow. Bus drivers on the Castries to Grosile route can only pick up commuters at the bus stops. All along that route, there are um, identified bus stops, and we're advising persons to continue using those bus stops. None of the bus stops were restricted. All of them were still operational. There were no restrictions at, as it related to accessing the bus stops along the route. What could not happen anymore was persons um, stopping along the route in areas that were not designated for stopping and that's one of the things we observed caused some of the backups along the route so these things are no longer allowed you need to use the bus stops there are there there are signs erected so you can see where a bus stop is and you need to utilize it if you're having passengers disembark Corporal Joseph disclosed that the police force has received positive feedback from the first exercise thus far. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force will update and notify the public of any changes in traffic plans moving forward. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.